there, thank you for joining me and welcome to Heart of Refuge, a YouTube channel. My name is Jenny Allen and to find out more about me, you can just head down to the description box below and see all my links there and all my information, especially if you click into my link tree, you will get to link the links to all my social media and all my coaching information. Please also make sure that you subscribe to my channel and click on the notifications so that you will never miss another video. So today I am going to be doing a book review, a Bible review on my Dakes Bible. My Dakes Bible. And I got a request to do a Bible review on this Bible um, when I put out a video doing a collaboration with Daughter of Increase and Transform Through God's Word. They are two awesome YouTube channels. They also have Facebook groups where there are two women who share the Word of God and they give you um, tips and information on how to study the Word of God. They do book reviews, they do word studies. It's absolutely excellent. So I'd really encourage you, their links will be at the, in the description box also. And I would encourage you to subscribe to those channels because you will get some really uplifting content, which will help, help you build your intimacy with God. So I'm going to do my book review on my, sorry, my Bible review on my Dakes Bible. You can see it is really, really big, huge. I've had it for maybe about eight or nine years, but we will check that um, when I actually start the review. So I'm going to turn my camera around to do the review. Okay, so stay watching. Let's start the review. Okay, so let's get into this review of my Dakes Bible. It's fairly big. It's quite huge, actually. And let me just show you the spine. This is the Dakes Annotated Reference Bible, Old and New Testament, and it's Concordance and Red Letter, Large Edition, and you've got Dakes there. So it's quite a firm, I think it's leather bonded actually. I did get that leather bonded one, but that's what it looks like on the spine. And I'm just gonna open it up now. And it's fairly, it's a fairly heavy Bible. It's quite sturdy as well. So I've just stuck up here some personal bits <laughs> and here we go. So we've got Dake's Annotated Reference Bible containing Old and New Testaments of the Authorised or King James Version of the Text. Okay, by Finnis Jane Jennings J Dakes uh with three column on each page two of text and three of notes and comments and a complete concordance encyclopedia index but as we go through you will see um the layout of the bible you have got the preface of the bible which is just basic information about um dates himself and um, the general general principles of this uh, version of the Bible, how many hours, the research, etc., that it's taking him to complete this um, his Dakes Bible. You have got um, Old and New Testament there, the layout of the Old and the New, and excuse the ragged edges, but I've had this Bible for ages. So that's why it looks a bit raggedy. So let's go. So we've got here are the we've got one whole column, and then you've got two short columns at the bottom, and then there you have the actual Bible text itself. And there is a lot of detail here. You've got um you've got letters of the alphabet along this side here that run through each page of the Bible and then you have the corresponding letter in the actual biblical text and for example it says here uh, Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 it says and God said let there be light and there was light and then the word was has a letter U next to it 
So that letter U for was references U in the summary here and then U is equal to the word became and then you go to note T let's see here we go note T here and it gives you a description of what that word means what was means so it is a very 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 detailed commentary um, in for various words and sections of this particular um, chapter in Genesis in, it's a very very detailed description of this particular chapter in Genesis so each corresponding letter that's attached to a word has a corresponding commentary in one of these columns and at the beginning of each chapter you have you've got the beginning the book of beginnings creation the four you've got the dispensations the eight covenants and you've got the patriarch and this is equal to 230 2371 years so there we go there There is the Old and the New Testament of the Bible. Here is, for example, Genesis chapter 1. You can see it there. Each corresponding letter in the verses has a corresponding commentary. So, for example, the letter K here and the earth was without form you will see the corresponding letter here and it tells you to see use of and in genesis 1 to 2 page 76 so it gives thorough commentary for each of the verses in a particular chapter so you can see the detailed commentary there and it gives references to other parts of the Bible also. So you can see the detail of it. And then here, for example, in M, you've got M here. And it gives you a Hebrew word, uh, the meaning of the word. And it gives you a corresponding um, book in the Bible, chapter and verse. Um, as to where that Hebrew word is used elsewhere in the Bible. Okay, so you can see that there. Let me turn over. So, excuse my underlinings, but there we go again. You've got two columns here, and then you've got the main column on the outside, and the two shorter columns on the inside there. There we go. Okay, so all the way through the Dakes Bible, you will see that particular layout. Let's see there. So I'm going to go over to the book of Mark, which is a book that I'm going to be looking at, I'm going to be studying. And here it gives you a better outline of how the books are in the Bible. So for example, you've got the Gospel according to St. Mark, and then it gives you a history of the book. So you've got the history of Jesus Christ, it talks about the apostles, it talks about the new covenant, it talks about Christianity, sermons, promises, prophecies, the Gospel of Jehovah's servant, Christ is presented as a lonely servant, Behold my servant and a reference of Isaiah 42 verse 1. And there again you can see the outline, how everything is outlined. And I've got my own highlights there. But you can see the outline of the actual biblical text with the letters attached to um, important words. And then the corresponding letters here with the meanings and the associated commentaries. And what I love about this as well, I'll go to the end of Mark. At the end of each book, when you've finished it, it goes through a summary. 
So you've got the date and the place, you've got the, who the author is, and it gives you corresponding notes, and then the theme of the Book of Mark with corresponding notes and scripture verses. So you can see that there. And then these are Dakes himself notes on the different areas in the Book of Mark. So this is just an example. So here, for example, in the Book of Mark, you've got 18 facts about Judas. And you go, if you go to Mark 14, 21, you will see a reference to Judas. And then it will give you 18 facts about Judas. Um, so this will make for excellent Bible study, actually. 18 facts about the book of Judas. You've got um, here, you've got 10 classes who find the Bible hard to understand. 10 classes of people who find the Bible hard to understand. That's Mark chapter 4, verse 20. And then you can go down. Those who are ignorant of its contents, those too lazy to read it. Excellent Bible study. So this kind of summary and notes is at the end of every chapter, sorry, every book in this Dake's reference Bible, okay? And then you move on to the next book, obviously, which is Luke. Now, at the end of the book, at the end of the book, you have just want to get this obviously we've got revelation you've got the notes of revelation now this is one of the things that i like here let me just go through Now, at the end, you've got New Testament commands, okay? New Testament commands. And then this is another form of Bible study also. So you've got seven things to avoid, for example. You've got your troublemakers, profane and vain babblings, false signs, unknown questions, and scripture references for those. And here, you've got... Let's see, let's go down. You've got 30 be nots. Be not like the hypocrites in prayer. Be not um okay. So you've got 30 be nots there. Everything with scripture references. Here you've got one thing not to believe, four things to believe, 14 things to be aware of. Three things to cast out or away, five things to charge, two classes to comfort, five things to consider. So these are, there's a st whole study on the New Testament commands and that's at the back of the Bible. So here you've got two pages worth of commands and here you've got New Testament promises. There we go. And you've got promises in the book of Matthew. And it will go through all, it will go through the whole book of Matthew and start to list all the promises. There we go. So here you've got number 24, you've got inspiration, you've got the second advent of Christ, you've got exposure of all secrets, you've got divine denial, you've got the life or death, you've got the prophet's reward. So you've got the nine testament promises, sorry, the new testament promises. There we go. You've got the prophecies of John. So the New Testament promises, every book in the Bible has, has been um, gone through and each promise in each book in the New Testament has been um, written here with the associated scripture references. Okay. And then when that's finished, you've got the different plagues in the Bible. And then... That's all here with scripture references. And then here you've got the summary of prophecies in the New Testament. Okay. 
and you've got all the summary of the prophecies there with scripture references so this is at the back of the bible so you've got the new testament questions that's next um so you've got questions from the book of matthew with the respective uh bible references to go with it you've got questions in the book of luke there we go you've got 75 questions in the book of acts we've just passed john and then that goes all the way through to revelations so the back um the end of it records all the questions in the new testament and the last um subject in that area is the 370 kinds of sins committed and recorded in scripture so you've got all the sins and the associated scriptures so you've got eating of the tree of full of um eating of the tree of knowledge you've got breaking the sabbath you've got corrupting yourself serving other gods you've got limiting god turning again to folly okay so there are 370 let's see here go on to that page there we go loving money you've got 370 kinds of sins committed and recorded in scripture and you've got the references so that would make another awesome study so here you've got symbols explained so for example if i just go here you will see on verse uh, 7 there's a circle there so if you want to know what that circle means all you need to do is to go to the back of your dakes bible and it will tell you what the circle means it says indicates a command so if you see a star it's by a verse indicates it indicates a prophecy a triangle indicates a promise a circle indicates a command and a square indicates a message from god so you will see these symbols throughout the bible so here for example you can see circles you can see stars you see some verses will have two symbols next to them like this chapter 4 verse 1 you've got a star and a square and then if you go to the back it will explain to you what the symbols mean okay and then this last section now is a complete concordance and cyclopedia index and that's just your typical um encyclopedia and your indexes with all the scriptures in it okay going back going back continuing and then at the very back you've got charts of let's see you've got this one the plan of the ages you've got original creations of god here uh, god planned the ages god planned the kingdom god created the angelic host all with scripture references and then you've got the dispensation of the angels there we go and then you've got the story of recreation there of the creation story and then you've got the different you've got the dispensation so you've got the dispensation of in of innocence with scripture references you've got the dispensation of conscience with the references and so on the dispensation of human government with the references there we go and so on you've got the dispensation of promise the dispensation of the law the dispensation of grace with all the scripture references and then you've got the rapture and all the scripture references there the tribulation period and all the scripture references there so that's quite good there and then the very last page you have a description of the you have a drawing of um the tabernacle there we go 
So if you want to study the tabernacle, you have a layout there of the tabernacle. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed my brief overview of the Dakes Bible. I know some of you were asking for me to give a review on it, but I'm sure that you can understand why I love it um, so much because of the in-depth commentary uh, that each chapter is given and also the meaning of words. And there was something else that I like actually that I forgot to show you. Hang on a minute, see all my notes. <laughs> so in the New Testament, in the Gospels, what I like is like, for example, um, let me give you, I'll just see, yeah, here, there, you've got a story here about, okay, it says the third temple discourse, and then you've got the mission of Jesus stated, and then it will give you other references to do with that particular topic across the New Testament, so you could use that to study as well. So it will just give you a really, really good overview. Also, um, let's have a look. Let me just go through. Right here, for example, it will say, first mention of the rapture of the church. Um, let not your heart be troubled. This is the section here. And then it will give other scripture references as well. Here, Jesus' last teaching at the Passover. This is for the book of John. And then if you go to Matthew 26, 30, it will talk about the same story, the same events that is happening in this book of John. Okay, so there's a lot of cross-referencing. And there's a lot of... Um, assistance there so i hope i've given a really good overview for you you can see all my markings there so if i'm doing a really in-depth study i always use my dates as the base because as you can see it gives excellent commentary and help there we go you can see all my bits there and then obviously it's also a red letter bible so you can see where I've underlined all the red letters, all the, the things that Jesus said. There we go. There. So I hope that was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye. Yeah.